What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you with another episode of Living Money Smart. In this episode of Living Money Smart, I talk about three reasons why you should attend a big event. Here's why. Because life-changing experiences don't happen on your couch. Life-changing experiences don't happen in your existing environment. And that's why an investment to go to a big event will change your business and will change your life. If you haven't done so already and you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like our page on Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe, hit notification, and join the notification squad to be alerted when our next video gets uploaded. What has been my secret sauce over my entire career to grow from year to year, quarter to quarter, month to month? It is because what I learn at big events. I travel across the country to attend a local, regional, and national event every three to six months to make sure I'm thinking bigger, I'm expecting more of myself, and I see what's possible. This is where I train the trainer here in Dallas, Texas. The best of the best of PHB agency is here right now. They couldn't pay the way to get in here. They had to qualify the way to get in here. Everybody here is fighting for seats at the table. We just gave out 44 stack equity ownership paperwork to our top guys that performed last year. The window's closing for ownership. Looking for people here that are thinking bigger to build the next billion dollar company inside the insurance industry, and they're here right now. So we're fired up. Hey man, we're gonna be the next billion dollar company out there, man. Question is how we're we gonna do it and when are we gonna get there? Woohoo! Does that make sense? Over the years, I've met some phenomenal people. Coach Kalapar of Kentucky, his one and done philosophy. And how he's inspiring college players that play at their very best. The great one, Wayne Gretzky, and how he dominated the ice. And then we got to see Magic Johnson and how he grew from basketball in Michigan to becoming an entrepreneur, dominating not only the basketball court, but how he started a Starbucks in the hood, how he started Magic Johnson Theaters, and how today he's the only black owner of an insurance company in the United States where he's a majority shareholder. See, stories like this inspire me to greatness. Stories like this inspire me to higher levels and to achieve more because lots of times I meet a lot of people, successful people like that, that come from nothing and become great at what they do. So our three reasons why you need to attend a big event assuming you want to change your finances and you want to change your life. So when you invest into a big event outside of your city and state, you are absolutely more focused. You're not worried about having to rush home. You're not worried about the kids. You're not worried about the wife, the husband, because why? They know you're at a conference for one, two, three, four, five days, however long it is, investing in you to become a better person, to be a better professional, to be a better entrepreneur, to take back home some skills that you can immediately implement to become better at what you're doing. And here's the thing to investing in a big event. You're absolutely immersed into the environment. Imagine if you got dropped into Panama. Imagine you had dropped into Costa Rica. Imagine you had to take a 30-day trip to Puerto Rico and the only thing you could speak is Spanish, not only to save your life, but to eat, to breathe, to live. The only language you can speak is that language. After 30 days, what do you think would happen? You think you start speaking that language? See, that's what happens when you immerse yourself in a big event. You start speaking a different language. You start operating at a different vibration level. You start seeing things that you've never seen before because you're immersed into what's possible. You're immersed into success. You're immersed into a topic that you can get your teeth into and say, you know what? I can do this. You are a brand. Say, I. 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 I am. am. A. a brand. brand. Yes, you are. Like you're, you, everybody here, because you're a brand, guess what you also are? You're a media company. Second one, you're vested. 
What am I talking about? I'm talking about you're invested. You're financially invested. You're time invested. Listen, we don't ever value anything that we don't pay for. And so when you decide to put some money into something, when you decide to put money into a plane ticket, money into a conference, uh, money into food and, and lodging, you are make, you are, your mindset is a completely different level. Why? Because you expect something now. You expect greatness. You expect to take something out of this experience. You are invested to make sure you have results when you get back. In addition to that, you're absorbing ideas. You're observing best practices. You're seeing your learning curve shorten down into a success curve, shorten down to a power curve. Think about it. A lot of major magazines out there. Forbes has a conference. Essence Magazine has a conference. What about this magazine called Insurance Newsnet, where our CEO is being featured in September as an insurance disruptor? It's called the Super Conference. Third reason why you should attend a big event is positioning. Why? Because you position yourself, although uncomfortable, you position yourself amongst your peers. Your associations are different. You see who the thought leaders are in your space. You see who the thinkers are. You see who the innovators are. More importantly, you see who the influencers are. In your first couple of events, you may come there as an attendee, but as you start to grow, as you start to implement the things that you're learning, as you become better at your craft, as you start to execute on different thoughts and ideas and best practices, and the next best version of you opens up, and the next best version of you shows up, guess what happens? You go back to conferences like this, and instead of being an attendee, you are now the speaker. You are now the influencer. Many times in my career, I've invested my time to go to these conferences, to sit there to take notes. Listen, I've got notes. I've got notes from 1998, 1999, from my first big event while I was still in the Marine Corps. I positioned myself to train a multi-million dollar army to build a multi-million dollar business. I didn't know when it was gonna happen, all I know is gonna do it. You know why? Because I saw a bigger vision. And guess what? Years later, I became that multi-million dollar company. I became a million dollar earner. I became a lot of the things that I saw on stage. Why? Because I saw what was possible. The greatest way to say thank you to a teacher, the greatest way to say thank you to a mentor is to what? Do it better than they did, but faster. And so one of the greatest things that we do as entrepreneurs is build teams, uh, build groups, build company. And one of the ways you can go and build that company is by knowing what type of techniques in terms of recruiting, uh, prospecting for the right type of candidate, and how to retain people for your company. What you guys got going for you that I didn't have at 24 is you guys got social media. You see, I like, I'm very familiar with some, yay, I'm very familiar with some of your faces and what you guys put out there. And, and I think uh, what you guys are doing, just you know, constantly promoting yourself. You see, if, in this day and age, if you're not self-promoting, you're not promoting. One of our thoughts is, okay, Matt, there's so many conferences to go to. I looked up my trade magazines, I looked up online, there's so many conferences to attend. Here's the ones that I would outline for you to physically and financially invest to go to. Number one, it's gotta be in your field. I remember a lot of wealth building seminars that I used to go to. And they had topics from online marketing to real estate investing, to selling t-shirts, all these different things. And at the end of the day, I was absolutely just confused. So for me, I just decided to pick one I thought I'd be good at. And at that time, I was in the financial world, I was in the insurance world, I was in the investing world. So what I do, I invested into an investment conference. I invested into an insurance conference. And from there, I went into that niche and I drew a deeper passion for it. I uh, drew a deeper uh, level of success from it. And because I de decided to pick one, I became really great at it. I would avoid the conferences where there's so much to talk about. There's so much to learn. You get so confused because here's the thing, a confused mind doesn't make a decision. I focused very quickly on what I was good at in terms of improving. For me, I always like improving my strengths, right? I focused on what I was good at. And the best part about this too as well is which one you should go to is finding mentors, finding people actually talking on stage who have been there, done that, and making money, or at least in my extent. They're showing success in the chosen endeavor. They're just not good people that talk well on stage. That they actually have a body of work that shows results. Because here's the thing, you find about teachers, you find out about leaders, you find out a lot about speakers. A lot of them are great on stage, but when we actually do some research on their business or their practice, it's always on stage, it's only online. There's really no meat and potatoes to it. So do your research on the people that you decide to listen to, that you choose to invest to hear speak. All right, networking. You gotta have a lot of networking. You gotta find people that are just like you, either rising up to the next level, or for some of you that's a little bit more established, you start uh, having different conversations in the green room. Listen, networking is everything. It's about connecting people that are like-minded and are willing to take like action. And that's what you get out of networking. And last but not least, make sure that the event you're going to has a lot of how-tos, has a lot of takeaways. What I realized about the mentors in my life is long after they've had conversations with me, long after I've stopped listening to their tapes and CDs and watched them 
on stage and following their body of work. I realized that my message today is a combination of the events and mentors I've chosen to listen to. Shameless plug, we got an event, big event, in August with Kevin Hart, his face to your face, our face to his face. Listen, we're excited about, ha about having him at our conference. Why? Because he's just not a star. He's a superstar. And best part about his conversation, best part of his story is his story. People see the glory, they just don't know the story. And Kevin Hart is about to share the ins and outs of what it took him to become financially successful in addition to making us laugh. Hey, what's going on, people of PHP? I cannot wait to see you guys this August at the Builders event. It's going down, it's official. I will be there in stone, etched in stone. You hear from me to you, my face to your faces. My face to your faces. I'll see you soon, August, going down. We're looking forward to this event, August 13th through the 16th at the Venetian in Vegas. Kevin Hart's a draw for our big event at PHP Agency. All right, thank you for watching this episode. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you share it. Make sure you like our page, because sharing is caring. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you also subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification button so therefore you can be alerted when we upload the next video. Thanks for tuning in, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Oh, 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 oh.